medical education has traditionally been done at the bedside or in clinic. That's also where parents often learn to take care of their sick children. But there is a new generation of young learners who have grown up learning through technology. And so that's why we thought that virtual reality would be this really terrific modality to teach our young learners. Dr. Joe Real teaches pediatric primary care to patients, families, medical students, and residents at Cincinnati Children's. And so we thought, why don't we create a virtual clinic, put residents in that clinic, and then have them counsel families, give them an opportunity to practice that, and teach them some best practice communication skills. Hey, would you be okay with Johnny getting the flu shot? We'll pass on the flu shot for today. Dr. Reel and a team of program developers created a virtual clinic with multiple scenarios. It includes this one with avatar parents who were hesitant to vaccinate their children against the flu. The goal was to teach residents how to communicate better with parents and decrease vaccine refusal. It worked. Rates of flu vaccine refusal decreased by 10%. And so we thought if this worked for our residents, why don't we try this type of education with our families? Dr. Real also decided to focus on asthma, the number one reason for patients to be admitted to Cincinnati Children's. The team created a virtual reality program so parents can learn the difference between rescue and controller inhalers and how to administer the medications. We always look to find ways to pull those experiences back into our simulations. David Davis, a senior educational consultant, is on the virtual reality team at Cincinnati Children's. He says it's essential for success that these programs include real life experiences. It goes the extra mile, it provides those extra little nuances that, uh, that make uh, a simulation actually work. One of the newest projects focuses on respiratory distress in infants because of bronchiolitis, a lower respiratory infection, and another common reason for patients to be admitted to the hospital. It can be difficult for a doctor in training, and even more so for a parent, to recognize when a patient is worsening and requires an escalation of care. But this project allows viewers to see a virtual baby and hear whether the baby's breathing is getting worse. Dr. Real was able to actually go into clinic and record actual babies with bronchiolitis so that we actually were able to incorporate those back into our simulation. As for Dr. Real, he's excited by what he calls the gamification of learning. The virtual reality team plans to continue creating novel and innovative methods of educating physicians and families. There's very few jobs in this world that provides a greater degree of satisfaction than being able to, to say that you've helped improve outcomes for parents and patients.